Good day, listeners. We are here again on the program Dialogue with Don Bosco, episode 3, The Dream at 9. With me in the studio, I have MC Vibe, Charles Jessica, and Francis. Can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, thank you for that. My name is Akinshola Ayomide John. You can call me Bosco. And my people call me MC Vibe. I'm a comedian. That's what I do for a living. Great. Thank you. Father. Good day, everyone. Father. My name is Charles Jessica Misoma. It's nice to be here. Great. Okay, good day, our uh, dear listeners. My name is Diala Chudera Francis. I'm a graduate and I'm a designer. Good. So, uh, as we move, uh, we are going to be talking about the dream at nine. Definitely, you all have heard about Don Bosco, and yeah. that is why you have been selected for this uh, program. So, what do you know about this dream at nine? Any idea? Can you remember something? You that you bear the name John Bosco. <laughs> no, father, they should go first. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I, I, I don't want to open because... What oh, you don't want to open? Okay, open. let Francis go first. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have a um, few images of what I remember about the dream. Okay, I, it was a dream at nine and he had a vision of trying to separate, I think, a fight in his dream. So, I think he was also fighting and things like that. So, I really can't remember everything. But at yeah, at least you are somewhere. You are somewhere. You are yes. somewhere. So, <laughs> I have to be honest about the fact that my do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, when I was coming to camp, they told, they, told, they told us about the story. I know it was, he had the dream when he was nine. And I don't remember any of that. I said it that dream at nine. <laughs> and <laughs> Francis said dream at no, no, nine. No, no, seriously, I knew, I knew that one. I knew, I knew that one. <laughs> so, <coughs> I no, you didn't remember anything. No, no. Ah, okay, John Bosco, maybe you can. Ah, Bosco, yes. that you are no, the Bosco. Bosco, Bosco, Bosco. Bosco. <laughs> Dreams plenty now. <laughs> my God, <laughs> he, 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 he was online. We thought it's on my mind. Yeah. Okay. No, he, he was. He had a dream. These young guys. They were like playing, fighting, and he wanted to separate them. And he used his uh, muzzle kind of force to separate, and oh, the thing yeah. bounced back, and some bounced they, back. Yeah, 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 bounced <laughs> both. And, <laughs> and uh, 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 like they turned, some turned to wolf, yes, yes. and from wolf, they turned to sheep, kind of. So, what led to that? Yeah, because I think. A Mama Maria appeared to yeah, Maria appeared to, appeared to yeah, him and he told him don't that's not even yeah that's stuff like that. yeah yeah it should be calm <laughs> okay <laughs> let me help you guys <laughs> thank you father I will help you guys by reading the story to you oh okay, oh oh okay. father so read from that. there I will read <laughs> <laughs> that one. I know I'm now <laughs> okay yeah yeah you yes, I know this story <laughs> it's a fun I won't read now. You guys are on point at least to an extent. Yeah, yeah. Before then, okay, let me just read it. Let me not defend myself. Let me just read it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. After reading the story, yes. then you guys should be asking me questions. I'll ask questions. Definitely. Okay. So that is how we like this uh, conversation to be, this dialogue with Don Bosco to be. So let me read it. When I was nine, ye- I had a dream that remained deeply embodied in my mind. For the rest of my life. That is Don Bosco speaking. Mm -hmm. I saw myself near home in a vast yard full of plain children. Some laughed. Quite a few uttered blasphemies. On hearing such foul language, I threw myself into their midst, punching and shouting to silence them. A venerable man appeared, nobly attired. His face was so bright, I could hardly look into it. He called me by name, not with your blows, but with meekness and love. You shall conquer all these friends. Speak to them at once about the ugliness of sin and the greatness of virtue. Confused and frightened, I answered that I was a poor and ignorant boy. At that moment, the boys stopped fighting, interrupted their brows and gathered round the speaking man 
hardly knowing what I was saying, I asked, Who are you that orders such impossible things of me? Precisely because they seem impossible to you, you must make them possible by obeying and by becoming knowledgeable. How shall I become knowledgeable? Don Bosco asks. I will give you a teacher. Under her guide, you will become wise. But who are you? I am the son of her whom your mother taught you to greet three times a day. Ask her for my name. At that moment, I saw a woman of majestic aspect, attired with a cloak that shone as bright as the sun. Seeing me confused, she beckoned me and took me by the hand. Look, she said. The youngsters had all disappeared. In their steed, I saw kids, dogs, cats, bears, and many other animals. This is your field of work. Become humble, strong, and sturdy. What you see now happen to these animals, you will cause to happen to my children. I turned and saw that instead of wild animals, there were now as many lambs keeping, running, and bleating as if giving a hearty welcome to the man and the woman. Always within the dream, I burst into tears. I asked the woman to speak clearly because I do not know what it is or what it all meant. She laid her hand on my head and said, One good day, you will understand. A noise woke me up and everything disappeared. I was in awe. I felt my, hand, my hands ache out of the blows delivered and my face burnt out of the slaps received from those rascals. Next morning, I related the dream to my brothers, who laughed. Then I related it to my mother and my grandmother. Everyone had a different opinion. Joseph, that is Joseph is his uh, elder brother, you are going to be a shepherd. Anthony is his stepbrother, you will lead a band of robbers. My mother, who knows, you may become a priest. Grandma uttered the definitive sentence. Pay no attention to dreams. I agreed with grandma but could not get the dream out of my mind. That's the story of the dream at nine. So I believe at this point in time now you have a reset of this particular dream in your mind and uh, it's now clear. So let's go straight to the discussion. What do you think about the dream? I feel like having that kind of dream at night is powerful. I don't know, I was like, I don't know, like, you surely be confused, right? Like, you won't know what to do. You won't know what to do. You're nine. You're nine. What do you know about dreams? <laughs> exactly. You... you were nine. What does, what, what, you knew nothing. I'm sure you feel discouraged because of the way, you know, when your brothers are mocking you. <laughs> that kind of. That he will took it seriously. Yeah. You get. He even took it serious, like, okay. So what was running in his mind? Yeah. You, okay, as you said, and has the story uh, uh, related that the brothers laughed. The other one said that, oh, maybe you'll be a shepherd. <laughs> the other one said that, oh, you'll be, band of, you'll be the leader of a band of uh, rascals, so, or a gang leader. And the mom, quite experienced and... Uh, quite advanced in age, uh, maybe you will become a priest. And the grandmother, pay no attention to dreams. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember what he said? He said that that he accepted what the uh, grandma yeah. said, yeah. but yeah. Get, get the, the dream out of, his, yeah. out of his mind. So what do you think? Hmm. Not no, no be small dream, or small dream, heavy. But do you know that? Do you know that this dream actually became, I would say, the the main point of the mission mm-hmm. of Don Bosco. Yes. He said that make yourself what knowledgeable. knowledgeable. The other time we spoke about education. Education, yeah. Yes. That why was Don Bosco so keen about educating himself and things like that? So at least now we can Relate. we can get a cue from this mm-hmm. dream that okay, it could be that because of the dream, 
he wants to realize that so he said to himself let me let's let's let me educate myself and all that so dreams what do we understand what do we know about dreams do we believe in dreams and mm. uh, no i'm not talking about like you are dreaming to okay. get something or arrive at a particular true. goal <laughs> and all that but dreams okay. i feel like it depends on, like yes i believe sometimes but not every time like how would i put it i sometimes you know that this dream is not going any i don't know <laughs> sometimes i know that this dream is not just realistic I, I it's feel not like, realistic yes and there are sometimes you feel like okay it might mean something have you ever dreamt of anything that uh, came to pass i feel like so- yes father but like before i would answer that question you know father there are some dreams kind of i don't want to say good or bad dreams that oh if you shop for dream something yes, is gonna happen it. like and uh, there was a time this dream came to pass when i was a little boy maybe secondary school maybe nine or uh, primary school rather primary school maybe nine or eight i went i was in my classroom but now i sleep i do i did sleep i did dream but i went to the toilet to ease myself not knowing i was eating on the bed <laughs> I was peeing on the bed, and I the dream was oh, I took permission from my teacher, my class teacher, <laughs> auntie. Please, I want to go and eat myself. I want to go and wee wee. Oh then I went God. down to the uh, sh- uh, the closet where we do pee. Then I probably that it was on my bed, and you're weeing on your bed. Yes, and I'm dreaming like oh, I'm outside somewhere doing something. I don't <laughs> which guy. <laughs> yeah. It has happened to you too. Jesus, dreams, Jesus. Dreams, dreams come to pass. Dream comes to pass. No, what I want is that I don't really remember my dream. Like when I was younger, maybe I remember, but some I don't really remember my dream. So if I remember, I feel like it means something right now because for like how, like I don't have not remember my dream in a long time. But once I remember my dream, I feel like maybe it means something, and I feel frustrated when I don't remember. But it's like. You feel frustrated when you do remember. So if you were, if you were in John, if you were in John Bosco's shoes at that at that time, you had that dream. Let's say, for instance, it was uh, Francis or uh, Jessica or uh, John uh, that had uh, John Bosco that had that dream. So, what would you have done at nine? Also, first thing that I know that I'm not telling anybody. Yeah, you would have not told anybody. No. And I was going to... I was just eating breakfast this one and I forgot about it. <laughs> so we don't... One, we, one thing about me. Yeah. One thing about is, that it's my I'm food. close to my grandma. Mm-hmm. Any kind of dream, I relate to her. Okay. And maybe she would have led me through or maybe she would say what Don Bosco mom had said. said yeah. Or yes, maybe the yes. grandma, being my grandma, would say, oh, don't pay attention to dreams. Okay. Maybe I would have... I don't know. So what, according to you, mm-hmm. and with the relationship you have with your grandmom, definitely you will know her. What kind of response do you think that she would have given to you if you were the one? Yes, because I would explain everything in detail. This dream not be ordinary dream. Yes. And now yeah, we yeah. are saying that it's not ordinary, ordinary dream, yeah, yeah. but as at that but point in time, yes, yes. to me, I'm still t- so even at she, nine, she seeing those I kind of things, I would take it very serious. I would, I would talk to her. Mom. Okay, okay, you would take it very serious. Very serious. <laughs> okay, I, I will ask her for any opinion because i believe i'm still very little i don't even know anything that will happen or any I will, whatever she tells me maybe oh so okay according to you what would have been if okay you say you are close to your grandma yeah 